FUBAR video number two. In this video, we're gonna learn how to organize everything and make it all nice and pretty. Let's just jump in and get right to work, shall we? Okay, next up, let's learn how to use file operations so that we can organize our music better than anybody in the face of the planet. Let me just show you how these folders are organized right now. Look at that. Now, I used FUBAR to create all these, um, all these different folders and it organized them by the date and the name of the album. All right, let's show you guys how to do that right fast. So over here, I've got Zweihander. Um, these are all from the same album. I didn't know what to title it. These are just all a bunch of things that are coming out soon. So um, I'm gonna highlight all these. If you have multiple albums, you can like click on the actual album title above it with control held down and select multiple. You can just control A. Right click, click on properties and look at all this stuff that you can edit. Uh, artist name is Vihander. Let's call this album title soon because it's coming out soon. And if you're watching this in a month from now, it's probably all already available and it's flashing on the screen so you guys can check it out. There we go. You can add, you know, you can change all the stuff here. And this actually writes information to the file itself. Doesn't work with WAV files, but works with AAC files, MP4, MP3, um, and lossless files as well. We can play a little bit of this actually. Yeah, there you go. All right, now let's say we want to, we've got all this stuff organized. Let's go ahead and uh, try some file operations and put this into a folder. This program can move everything for us. We'll need to stop it because if you're moving things, you can't have things playing at the same time. So go to file operations and you can copy or you can move. I want to move it to a new folder. And when you move it to a new folder, we have several different options here. You can see that you can uh, remove the empty uh, source folder. So after everything's moved, it will delete the old folder if you like. It, you can move the entire uh, contents of the folder and that'll move like any images or text files. I always do this because I want to get everything that's in that folder to the new location. And then this will just show the output files when you're done. It's sort of a verification. Up here, you can again reiterate, move, copy, uh, rename. If you just want to rename things right where they are, then you can do that. And there are several different uh, field name patterns. Now, what is this? This is something that is very nice. So uh, first off, before I show you that, let's pick a destination folder. Uh, this is going to go into that, uh, yes, good things, Muzak. There's the Svihander folder. Um, I'm going to delete the Svihander folder just so I can show you the power. The power. Music, there we go. Select this folder. All right, so it's all just going to be thrown into that music folder, but that's not exactly what we want. We want to play around with the file name pattern, uh, and the file name pattern is not something you're going to have to do every time. You do it once, and then you use that for all your files, and everything is amazing. So check this out. All right, here's all your different file naming patterns. Now, the way you do this is say, like, uh, I want to put this in a folder um, for the album or the uh, artist first, and then I want to put it in a folder uh, based upon the album title and then I want to have all the file titles inside that album so let's just go ahead and make the first thing here the artist there we go and this is pretty intuitive if you don't feel like looking up um, this you can usually just type things and see what it does and look now it's gonna make a folder uh, then I'm gonna make an album actually I want the date then the album because I like knowing when things were made it's it's kinda cool Whoops, look out. There's the date. I don't know space to have space. There we go. And then uh, album. All right, there we go. And then after that, I'm just going to do title. There we go. Now, if you have a, an album that has like actual uh, track numbers, you know, if you've gone into each one and, and named it track number, you can go up here and you can add a uh, track number to the beginning of this. But I have not actually given these track numbers yet because I don't know where they're going to go up in the album. But now check this out. Um, you can come up here and save this as a preset so that you can just easily get to it. So let's go ahead and save this as um, just standard music. All my music I want to be organized this way. Save it. Now say you have a separate one for ebooks or I don't know, whatever. You, you want to put it into a different location. So yeah, I've got a different location here for for books. Yeah, ebooks or audiobooks or whatever you want to call it. Save this as books. Save it. What would I double clicked it, but whatever. Anyway, let's go back to music and load it up. See, there it goes to music. Run this, and it's going to move all these files. Just moved them all. Close that out. Close that. 
And let me show you what it just did. Open containing folder. It moved it to a new folder in my music entitled Zweihander. There's the, the um, date, album, and then there are all of our file names. And it moved the cover as well. So that's extremely handy, um, you know, for moving files around and keeping things organized. And as you can see here, I've got everything organized that way. Open containing folder. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't organized these. Ah. So we'll go down here to uh, Miasma. Let's do them all. I'm just file operations. Set up a new paradigm here because I want them to be moved to my NAS. There, now it's going to retitle all these. Just doing this to reiterate how this all works. Run this. Just rename and move things around. Oh my god. Alright, so it renamed and moved everything around. And now look what happened. Let me go here and click Open Containing Folder. One unknown album, but everything else is just fine. What's in this unknown album? Nothing, so I can get rid of that. Now look how organized everything is. Holy mother of God. And look how organized it all is here. It's amazing. Ah, this, this could be bigger. That's prettier. Oh, one other thing. If you want more information, you can always do that. Labels on the bottom. There we go. Now we know the name of the uh, different albums. There's so many things you could do with this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Organize it any way you like. Yep. All right, let's play a little bit of music as we uh, go out. I also want to mention that there are um, a lot of different options as far as skinning goes. This is just the default, um, I guess the default skin or the default style. I like this one a lot because you can do so much with it and it has all the information that I like. But you know what, if you want something more simplistic or just a little bit more elegant, you can go over to DeviantArt, just browse for skins. They're very easy to install. I mean. There's also a customize.org. There's a lot of skins over there. You know, you can go and grab something like this. You know. Just show you some different skins that are out there. Very simple skin. Those are the playlist tabs there at the bottom. That one's kind of silly looking. Change the fonts however you like. Pretty. You know what? If you want to make it look like iTunes, this is not iTunes. This is freaking FUBAR. This is freaking FUBAR. So yeah. Lots of different ways that you can make FUBAR. Um, I guess lots of different ways you can style FUBAR. One last thing. In the next video here, we're going to uh, play with this. See that iPod thing? You can actually load your iPod library. as a. Uh, it'll be a tab right here on your playlists. You can send these things to your iPod just by right-clicking and clicking Send to iPod. I don't have my iPod plugged up right now, but it'll be um, right under your contextual menu. Indeed. God, this is nice. Alright, this is the end of video number two. In video number three, we are going to learn how to use FUBAR uh, with an external device, namely an Apple device like an iPod or an iPhone or an iPod Touch or one of those silly devices. There's an easy plugin uh, that allows you to do everything, but there are a few things that we have to do. We have to get um, a copy of iTunes, but we do not need to install iTunes. So check out video number three. For all the how toiness, all how toiness, how toitiveness. It's very how. Never mind. Just watch the third video. Subscribe. Check out the forum and do all that stuff that I usually say to do. And one thing you do want to do is go down there and look around in the description. If you guys are interested in any of the music or if you like some of the 8-bit music that I put together, you guys can click on it down there and take you to uh, pick up your own copy of Zweihander. Then you'll be a better person. We need better people in the world.